All right, we got a new royal update. Dun, 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 dun. Prince Harry and Meghan are back at it. You know, they love their privacy, so they got to, you know, stir up some drama in the press. So they're getting called out because apparently Harry and Meghan were claiming that after leaving the Women of Vision Awards in New York City on Tuesday, that they were hounded by 12 aggressive photographers for over two hours. I'm just like, where were they going for over two hours? Like, that's a very long time. Like, how far were they? Like, where were they going? And, okay. But they claim that this was resulting in, by them being chased and hounded by the paparazzi in New York, that this resulted in multiple near collisions and that they were terrified and that even now they're still very upset about it. First of all, what are multiple near collisions? Because that sounds very big and very vague. Multiple near collisions. It's New York City. Everywhere you go, it's going to be a near collision because drivers are aggressive in New York City. But also there's a lot of traffic in New York City. And people are like just walking through the streets. Like it's, you know, it's not necessarily where you go because you think that the, the streets are going to be clear and, you know, there's not a lot of traffic and not a lot of crazy drivers. Okay. Drivers are aggressive. It's New York City. And like, how did 12 photographers, 12 aggressive photographers, how did they manage to make it through the streets of NYC so recklessly for over two hours? Like, how does that even check out or make sense? And 12 is like a very specific number too, right? It also feels very reminiscent of Princess Diana and this narrative that we're constantly trying to craft with comparing them to Princess Diana and, you know, the... The, we obviously know how she tragically passed away, but like they keep trying to line up their path with with Princess Diana's path and trying to make it seem like their future is going to be or their yeah their future is going to be what happened to her because every, nobody wants to give them privacy even though they love to keep talking to the press. But it's interesting because now their taxi driver, back grid, and the NYPD have all come out denying that this happened the way that Megan and Harry are claiming that this happened, which I find hilarious because at first I wasn't going to cover this story. And then when I was like, oh, the NYPD is denying it. Oh, their taxi driver is denying it. Oh, back grid is outing them. OK, let's get into it. Right. So the NYPD says that they assisted the private security team. And while there were numerous photographers that made their transport challenging, there were no reported collisions summonses, injuries, or arrests in regard to their drive home. But remember, they didn't say that anybody got hurt. They just said that there were multiple near collisions. Apparently, the police department didn't feel that that was the case because nobody got summoned. There were no collisions. There were no injuries. There were no arrests. Things seemed fine and seemed to be within legal driving terms, right? So Harry and Meghan were now demanding, <clears throat> sorry, Harry and Meghan are now demanding any photos that were taken to be given over to them immediately and not distributed because of how they were obtained. It was so unethical because these, you know, there were so many reckless photographers just riding around on scooters, chasing them through the traffic, ridden NYC, and they're still shooken up about it. I'm just like, you're in NY. That's like being like, oh, they're paparazzi in Hollywood. They're paparazzi in Los Angeles. Yeah, they're paparazzi in New York. When you're leaving a big star-studded event, yeah, they're going to be paparazzi. And yeah, they're going to be interested in you. Because guess what? You had a Netflix doc documentary and you wrote a book and you're trying to put your name out there and you have a Spotify deal with the podcast. So when you continue to put your lives out there and you continue to share your stories, the public is going to take interest in your lives and the, the paparazzi are going to want to take photos of you. That's just the name of the game. The game that you signed up for, the game that you continue to play. So, and the taxi driver, he's come out and said that they've exaggerated what actually happened. He said that, yes, there were, um, that they were nervous, but that their security guard was on it. And he's like, there was no real threat. There was no real issue. And then back grid, they're the entertainment industry, like the media industry, or not industry, the media company. I'm not really sure what to refer to them as, but they're the ones that make the photos available for uh, photographers to publish and then for other people to license those photos out. They're that agency. They represent the photographers, I guess. And so they've come out and they're claiming that 
Harry and Meghan sent that letter through their attorney saying that they wanted Backrid to hand over all of those photos. And Backrid's like, nah, we're defending our photographers. They issued a statement to BBC News and then they, or they, issued a copy of the statement that they fired back at Meghan and Harry's legal team to BBC News, and this is their statement back to Harry and Meghan, or to their attorney. Backrid said, in America, as I'm sure you know, property belongs to the owner, as in copyright. So when the photographer takes the photo, it's then their copyright, that's how they're able to sell it, yada, yada, yada. Third parties cannot just demand to be given to them, cannot just demand it to be given to them, as perhaps kings can do. Ooh, the shade. The shade. Perhaps you should sit down your client and advise them that his English rules of royal prerogative to demand that the citizenry hand over their property to the crown were rejected by this country long ago. We stand by our founding fathers. They straight said, freedom of the press, bitch. You don't like it? Go back to the UK. Welcome to the United States of America. And unfortunately here, paparazzi are not regulated like, say, Dubai. And like, here's the thing. Lindsay Lohan moved to Dubai. Lindsay Lohan's like, I'm going to go to Dubai because I don't want to deal with the paparazzi and I want to live a more private life. And she did. And then when she wants to dip into her entertainment life and she wants to dip into her celebrity, she comes back to Los Angeles. She comes back to New York City. So... Lindsay Lohan's figured the game out. Why can't Prince Harry and Meghan? Lindsay Lohan's not over here signing all these Netflix deals and Spotify deals and book deals for all these multi-million dollars living in, in California. If Lindsay can do it, so can Meghan and Harry. They can figure this out. But I think they already have. 